Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy Wiz Khalifa, man, right here, wildin' out on 102 Gems. You know what it is. Jams, you already know what it is, man. Santillian and the Wild I Wake Up Show, man. Beat I've been David, Tasha McKeel, yeah. myself, Kyle Santillian, and we're sitting here right now, man, getting ready for the big show with the homie, none other than Mr. Wiz Khalifa, right here, holding it down, man. How you feeling, man? I'm good. How okay. you guys? We're good, man. Good. Get ready for the show. A lot of people are excited about you being in town tonight. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, Wiz Khalifa is going to be on stage tonight, man. What are we expecting? We're going to start with the show right now. Just a lot of energy. Um, I'm going to bring the CD to life. Yeah, it's going to be like moving and walking. Because you've been all over, and you would say, I would say you were a connoisseur or something, yeah, right? Something like that. So, like, what would you say would be your like three top strands? Three top strands. Yes, sir. Team listen. Hey. OG Kush. Check. Girl Scout cookies and pink champagne. The last two I didn't even know existed, Liz. Thank you for the Girl Scout cookies. Now you're gonna go look that up, right? Like, Google it. Like, you gotta go to the Bay to get the real cookies. Like in the Bay Area. Right. Yeah, I know a guy who girls are really named friend. So My mom does. You ever get your mom? Oh yeah. yeah. When she found out I smoked, she's like, "Come on." Yeah. How old were you? Uh, I, I don't even say. You were just young. <laughs> you were just young. I was still living with my mom. So. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So your mom know how to roll up? You know, yeah. Know how to yeah. Up. I, I learned how to roll after a while. Um, yeah. I mean, my mom. That's like my buddy. You know? mm -hmm. Like, um, there's way worse stuff I could have been doing than smoking weed. <laughs> that you do what would you have been doing right now uh, um probably like flying a plane or something like that I would yeah. be a pilot. really pilot? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. i like learning things that seem impossible so i would be like a pilot you did a challenge uh, yeah 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 that's crazy that's definitely that's cool. like I did. Oh, no, I was behind <laughs> anybody. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. All day. Yeah. 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 Obviously, you got a tattoo, Jones. You know what I mean? Something like that. How many tattoos you got? Do you even know? How many tattoos? I have no idea. You look like your underpants. Yeah. Like, which one was your first? Your this was my first one. This is my blue man from back in the day. Uh -huh. um, I got that one when I was 16. Yeah. And it just became addictive? Yeah. Not really. I always knew I wanted to be covered, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a wild dude. So it was like, I want people to see that without me going crazy in their face. Yeah. So this is kind of, you know, my, my go crazy right now. You say you're a wild dude, like, but you're, you're a demeanor, and every time we see you, you seem like a yeah. laid back. Yeah, yeah, dude, I mean, chill. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, what is, what is the wild Wiz Khalifa he into? What is that, what does that guy do? Um, you know, the wild things, you know what I mean? You gotta get lucky to see that type of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that was real. Yeah, you gotta be like, that's like, you gotta be a real lucky individual to see me in that form. Like, chillin' man. I just like to have fun. I'm like yeah. the, the life of the party, so you can take that and um, make with what you want. Well, yeah. Wiz, no. Wiz go bungee jumping. Nah, I wouldn't go bungee jumping. Skydiving. Yes. Zip line. Uh, zip line and short. Oh, 
We went parasailing and then. Amber freaked out. Yo. Oh, yeah, she, oh, it's oh, fun, yo. It's like I, I wouldn't recommend taking your girl. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, she's, if she's not scared of heights, but she did it for me, it was like, you know, I'll do it for you. And it didn't work out. in the air. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. So if she did that for you, what kind of things, you know what I mean, have you done for her? Like, yeah. You know like, she might have, maybe you weren't, you know, so willing to do it. She said, hey, come do this for me. Yeah, uh, I have to eat something nasty, bro, like some sushi or something. Nah, she didn't see. Sushi's disgusting. I don't like sushi. Thank you, Liz. <laughs> Team Miles. <laughs> Team Skinny in this thing. <laughs> 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 oh, <I smell> <laughs> sushi. Um, nah, I haven't, I haven't tried anything yet. Mm. Nothing that I'm that out of my comfort zone. She gonna think of something since Oh yeah, hell yeah. Since yeah. I had her own hair. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And interviews and stuff, man. You seem kind of fairly open about you know. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a particular reason? It's just because that's how I am about everything, you know. Um, my fans and anybody who knows me, they know me. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna be able to find out anything from anybody else. You're gonna be able to hear from me. So that just keeps the truth and the connection, and you know what I'm saying? That personal thing going on with my fans, when they're like, all right, this is what. Yeah. So, I think it's dope. I think, yeah. so. I think a lot of people admire it. Yeah, no, I Thank do, because a lot of people, you never know who they're doing, what they're doing, and it's just good to see that they're real people, and they know how to love, and right. treat people really yeah, well. Yeah, 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 and it's more know? important than just, like, a look and, like, an image or something yeah. like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm building a business, you're doing a business, you gotta be focused, you gotta be determined, yeah. you gotta be safe, you know what I'm saying? Rick Ross had offered you a deal or something. Yeah. Like, and like, he's doing some big things right now. Like, yeah. and, I, and I was like, damn, for Wiz to turn that down, like, what was just going through your mind right then when Rick Ross had, like, he's a big deal. For him yeah. to offer you yeah. a situation, you'd be like, nah, like, I'm gonna just keep moving in this direction. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, Rick Ross is a boss, man. And he, he's built himself up to that, to that point. You know what I'm saying? Just do a lot of hard work and just proving himself in the game. And me, um, at that point when I was just getting started and really starting to get recognition, yeah. I wanted to put myself up there to that same point, you know what I'm saying? So I really just figured I'd be like, I'm cool off of that and just take those steps that I felt like it was necessary to um, to really put me up in that boss status, you know what I'm saying? So. Oh, that was another move right there that was yeah. to be admired because most people coming up are just looking you know, yeah. to get to a yeah. point where somebody can snatch them Yeah, that's because they, 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 like, they, they, they don't stuff. Like, I run everything, you know, I do everything. Song that I make, I pick and put out. If I want to put a song out, I throw it out. If I do a video, I come up with ideas for the video, get the clothes, I do everything. You know what I'm saying? There's nobody pulling the strings. So at the end of the day, I wouldn't, I never want to give up that control. When you got to this level of your success, has it been more difficult to hold on to that control? Nah, nah, not at all. Um, you know, just you got to surround yourself with people who, who understand that, you know. And um, my label, Roger Records, always understood that. Mm -hmm. Atlantic, they fully understand that. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's not even like a battle or anything. It's just me doing what I do and then being like, yes. When you were starting out, did you ever think you would get to this point? Like, does it feel like a long road? Yeah, um, well, I always felt like I would get to this point. You know, you never know when or what age you're going to be or, you know, what it's going to feel like, you know. But I always see myself, like, being at the top of, you know, the top. It's just crazy that it happened when it did, you know. Because I was doing a lot of work, not getting recognized, and then boom, kind of shot up. Where were you the first? That's dope. Right. What was the first, where were you, yeah, the first time you heard your joint? That you knew you was um, in Vegas, man. I was in a cab in Vegas. I was just like, you know, just running around going crazy. I jumped in the cab and was playing black and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> one, last, uh, one last comment from Wiz Khalifa from everybody looking on 102 Jams.com. Um, listeners that are checking us out, man. Would you like to leave it right there in particular? Taylor Gang or die. That's it. Hey. <laughs> Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow.